74-year-old Martha Munoz and her husband Arturo love to travel. They've been all over the world. But six years ago, Martha was having trouble breathing, her back hurt, and she became uncharacteristically fatigued. Uh, when all this happened, I knew that something was terribly wrong. Martha was diagnosed with an often fatal asbestos-related cancer called mesothelioma. And told me that, he says, I get better with bad news for you, Mr. Munoz. Wow. You, your wife does not have more than nine to ten months to live. Mesothelioma is a cancer of the lining cells in the chest, but it also can occur in the abdomen and in the heart sac. So all those areas all have the same lining cells and it's just a tumor of those lining cells. Martha's doctors referred her to Dr. Robert Cameron, who has pioneered a comprehensive, highly successful mesothelioma treatment program at UCLA. Surgery is actually the most reliable treatment because in, in our hands at UCLA, about 90% of the time we can remove all the tumor that we can see during surgery and that's the goal, is to remove all the tumor that we can see and we can take it off the lung and leave the lung in place. And so what you see is her heart beating here. You can actually see in real time and she's breathing. Martha's left lung, on the right of your screen, expands perfectly. But her right lung is encased by mesothelioma cancer. It is compressed, making it difficult to breathe. So this was after surgery. In this post-operative cross-section, you can see that both lungs expand fully to the rib cage. And you can see that the lung, the dark part, goes all the way up to these white ribs. All visible signs of Martha's cancer are gone. Martha also underwent chemotherapy, state-of-the-art high-dose radiation called tomotherapy, and a novel treatment called cryoablation to freeze and destroy small new tumors that appeared three years after Martha's initial surgery. Guided by precise CAT scan imaging, the probes freeze the small emerging tumors in a painless outpatient procedure. So our idea is to treat this as a chronic disease, so what we do is we use surgery to get rid of all the tumor that we can see, and we use the other things like radiation, immunotherapy, and cryoablation to keep it that way, just like we do with the other chronic diseases so that people can live a long time with the disease. Despite the fact that they have it, they can still live good, uh, good quality of life. Martha is now on a regimen of immunotherapy to keep her cancer at bay. But today, six years after her initial diagnosis, Martha is cancer-free. What you call a miracle, I go, uh, we were not expecting this. We are a very close, close family, and uh, with God's help and Dr. Cameron's help, I can have a, a healthy, longer life.